For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found a weapon in her locker and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. You'd really be willing to do this for me? I won't lie. It's gonna be dangerous. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very, very grateful. She works over at the Sinbin now. Her hair's blonde. On top. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'd rather revel in the present than dwell on the past. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are you looking for, honey? Oh. Okay. I'll just go back into the Pleasure Palace.
Well, here we are. You got something specific in mind? Because the clock's ticking, honey. <laughs> Look who's back. Please, call me Vivi. Mm hmm. Hmm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. Yes, but through this ordeal, I've gained an enticing new ally, and I'm beginning to think it was fate. Mmm, you're just saying what I want to hear. Don't stop. Poor, poor David Hatter. David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? No. It's about Kindred. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kine is? Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed. And his less than silent partner must be... Executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is Kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. Sorry, no vacancies. Right. 
Twitter's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's like, what I do, that's like, that's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, not, I'm like a blacksmith with pens, right? I'm a welder of montage. Me? I'm like looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks, like popular characters, but me, I'm gonna be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it gonna be scary, but it's gonna be like, it's gonna be believable. A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you in the business? Cause man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. You do? Man, that's fantastic! I, I, can, I can give you my screenplay if you promise to keep it safe. I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. Okay, okay, he's a guy. He calls himself Julius. He lives under the pier. In fact, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about vampire film like this all the time. He's a weird, weird guy, but really creative. You know, I, I love how his mind works. The moon is a mysterious mistress. The Lucky Star Motel, room two, don't be long.
did nothing to you! What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. Why? So you can pass judgment on me? So you can decide if those murderers deserve to be gutted? You'll never know how it feels, never! My family, my children were butchered by small-time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there, in the way? Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen? I tracked them down, hunted them. One by one, caught them all. The one you saw in Hollywood. He was the last of them. Revenge, justice, whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds and licking their blood from my claws. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something! I can't turn my back on the evil in this world. I won't answer to anyone and you'll never take me alive, vampire. No one will take from me again. No one! Either we go our separate ways here, or one of us dies. I missed you. Did you?